Some high school students in Pennsylvania are learning valuable lessons about loyalty in a dispute that was touched off by a few pennies. Harry Smith reports they are sticking up for a teacher whose job is threatened because he supported them. The demonstration the other day at Saucon Valley High School in Pennsylvania was small potatoes. But don't tell Katie Baker that. Katie is the one on the bullhorn. We walked out and we made our voices heard whether they liked it or not. <laughs> Katie and dozens of her classmates were punished with suspensions and detentions for walking out in support of teacher and school paper advisor Dale Schneck. Schneck's in the center of a local embarrassment known as Pennygate. He's refused to answer administration questions after confronting a school cafeteria worker who wasn't giving students penny change. The kids think Schneck stuck up for them. The administration thinks he's insubordinate. Just try and uh, put it anywhere you can. With his job in jeopardy, the kids have taken to the streets to win it back. Possibly might be getting fired. We just They're discovering what it's like to try to sway public opinion. So why doesn't he stay within the system and, and do it that way? Not so easy. He's a kind of teacher who will sit there and prepare you for life. And they've confronted the most powerful people in their universe, the school board. It would also be wrong to lose such a quality human being and quality teacher. I'm here today to ask the school board to come with common sense and reason and find a way to resolve this issue so Mr. Schneck can return to the classroom, so we all can return to the classroom as soon as possible. School is often full of unintended lessons. Really Senior sad. Gary Fox says the walkout was just about the most important thing he's ever done. I look in the mirror and I could see myself like I stuck off myself one time in life. When classwork is long forgotten, kids like Katie Baker will remember that fighting against what you believe is injustice is not without risk. And it kind of makes me afraid of authority to an extent, but as you can see, all of us here, including myself, we're not afraid of authority. We're willing to stand up for what we believe in. The kids may or may not win their teacher back. You got these two houses, right? But they have won something that rarely right. comes out of a classroom or from a book. Self-respect. Harry Smith, CBS News, Hellertown, Pennsylvania.